Now, back to more of Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater and your host, Lisa Condon. Thank you all for listening and joining us today. I'm excited to be here in an interview with Randy Freda. She is the associate choreographer for Hip Hop Nutcracker, which is coming to the Hanover Theater on Sunday, December 29th. Welcome to our program. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We're so excited to have this show come to the Hanover Theater. I have never seen anything like the Hip Hop Nutcracker, and I know our audience is curious on how you take a very traditional ballet with Tchaikovsky and you mesh it with hip hop. So tell us a little bit about that process. Absolutely. Um, It's a very exciting process. We keep the original score uh, the original Tchaikovsky score, and we bring it into modern-day New York in Washington Heights. So we've changed the story just slightly to fit a more modern crowd. We have Maria Clara, who's going to a party with her friends, and she sees her parents at this block party, and they're um, having some troubles, having some family issues. Um, and we use the original characters, like the Nutcracker, the Mouse King, um, all of the solos that you saw from the Candyland to Sugar Plum Fairies, all of that. And we use that to help Marie Clara bring her family back together um, and show that over everything else, love wins. I think it sounds amazing. And I know that many people who don't usually think that they're going to be interested in seeing the Nutcracker because they think traditional ballet. And we have our own production of the Nutcracker here at the Hanover Theater. So people are really eager to see a hip-hop version. And everybody I've talked to about this show is very interested in the fact that MC Curtis Blow opens the show. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, he's so vibrant on stage. He's such a wonderful guy. We get to tour with him each year, and he's um, just an amazing performer. You can tell that it's been in his soul since since he started, um, and he's one of the original MCs, so he really brings a lot of authenticity to the stage. Um, And you get a good 20 minutes just with him prior to the show, and then he kind of helps set the mood for us as hip-hop dancers as well to then enter into this classical music and still bring our hip-hop flavor, breaking moves, popping moves, a lot of power and flips, things like this. How fun. So how did you get involved with the production? I actually um, auditioned the first year about four years ago, so the production had been going running for two years already, and they decided to move the auditions to Los Angeles. And um, I auditioned there. I'd worked with Jen, the head choreographer. I'd worked with her once before, so I was really excited to audition for this project and hopefully work with her again. And um, yeah, Jen and I just we kicked it off. We had a we had a good relationship, and she asked me to come along as first assistant uh, choreographer and then associate and just build with her there. So it's been four years now that I've been blessed to be a part of this project. That is completely awesome. We also have a conservatory here that's part of the Hanover Theater. So any advice you want to give to our aspiring performers that might be thinking about dance as a career? Absolutely. I would say um, put in the work, you know, uh, learn all the basics leading up, but don't forget to step outside of the box and see which ways you can rework dance and art to make it your own, kind of the way that we're taking something that's traditionally in a ballet form and and fusing it and taking hip-hop that's traditionally done to, uh, you know, hip-hop music and seeing how that relationship can work together and change the art in a positive and evolutionary way. Great advice. So how old were you when you started dancing? And tell us a little bit about your journey from the dance perspective. Sure. Um, I was quote unquote old when I started dancing. I was 20. <laughs> um, and I actually found it while I was in college, going to college for something else. And I found breaking first and I fell in love. I just couldn't get enough. So once I graduated college, I had been breaking for, you know, three, four years. And I just decided to take the leap and move to Los Angeles and where the hub of, of industry like industry dances, commercial dance, and um, decided that in order to succeed in dance, I needed to really branch out and learn many different forms and understand many different ways of approaching dance. So I just worked hard and knew what I wanted, and here I am, you know, 12 years later living in Los Angeles and 
choreographing for an amazing production. And living the dream, right? Living the dream, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I think as long as we follow what we're passionate about, we can all live the dream because everyone has a different passion. That's absolutely true. So, you know, I'm curious. Out of all of the different scenes that are in Hip Hop Nutcracker, is there one in particular that you absolutely love and you think the audience is going to also love? I definitely love uh, the scene where the mice and the, the rat king enter. Because we have B-boys playing mice and they just embody the character so much. And it's, um, it's not scary, it's very funny and silly and playful. And then the soldiers come in and save the day, and you get this epic battle scene. And I think it just builds in such a nice way and has such a nice mix of silly characters and amazing dance moves. That's so fun. You know, yeah. I know that there's a PBS special about hip-hop Nutcracker yes. as well. Were you a part of that? Yes, I was. So I play. I actually play the Mouse King on stage as well. So. Ooh. Um, uh, on top of helping with the choreography, I get to perform. So I will be in that PBS special coming up. Cool. And so yeah, how, did, how did that all come about? Do you know? Um, well, with the show was doing really well. We've been doing well for a few years now, and every year it was building. We were getting into bigger theaters, selling out shows more quickly. Um, and I know the production that we work with is based out of New Jersey, and they were able to set up um, something with PBS where we could film and release it before the tour this year in hopes of letting people see a little sneak peek of what they'll see live. That's great. I know that we're working with our PBS affiliate in Boston to also work on showing the um, the PBS special as well. So I'm excited yeah, for people absolutely. to see that. And, you know, <laughs> we were joking before about going deep, but are there certain themes in the Hip Hop Nutcracker that really resonate with you that you want to touch on? Absolutely, yes. <clears throat> I think one of the big themes for us is, um, it, one of the big themes for us is diversity and just bringing so many different uh, backgrounds, people, characters onto one stage and just showing that through all of this, um, we can find connections, we can find love for each other, we can find respect for each other. <clears throat> and as Curtis Blow ends the ends the play with every year, he really lets the crowd know that over everything, uh, love triumphs, and that if we can just reach out and love each other and, um, you know, show respect and unity, that we can really fix some uh, major issues going on. Ah, that's beautiful. Everybody, we've been speaking with um, Randy Freitas. She is the associate choreographer from the Hip Hop Nutcracker, which is coming to the Hanover Theater on Sunday, December 29th. Curtain goes up at 7 p.m. We do have some great tickets still available at the Hanover Theater, spelled with an R-E dot org, and we really hope to see you there. Anything else you want to tell our listeners before we have to take a quick break? We're just so excited to come to the Hanover and, and see all our uh, favorite Bostonians again. Oh, well, we're excited to see you, too. So have a great time between now and then. Travel safely, and we're going to see you in the woo, as they say. Thank you so much. See you're, you you're welcome. Have a great day, everybody else. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this quick break here on WCRN AM 830.